Cranky. And if you've never seen a Cranky, it's your world premiere too. <laughs> <laughs> this is a winter story. Not far away, just under the trees and snows of somewhere called Tamworth, live three little mice. and some of their relatives. They like to go out and play whenever their parents say it's okay. Mouse families do many of the same things we all do. They eat, play, scurry around to get ready for Mousemas, and work every day to stay warm and happy and healthy. Some mice live in the woods and fields. These are called country mice. Some live in the dark little places in people's houses. These are called city mice. Sometimes they get into mischief It's better for everybody when mice live in the country. <laughs> Even very modern mice don't have toys like yours. No tablets, no cell phones, not even landlines. They don't have TV. But in other ways, they like what you do. They like to eat and talk, to chatter and play, to be warm in the winter and undercover when it rains or snows. They like skating, sledding, stories and games. And sometimes bedtime comes too soon. After one long winter day, Mama Mouse tucked the three little mice into bed. She was glad it was her turn to do bedtime. Papa Mouse had gone out in the night to help a neighbor whose tunnel had been damaged. Mama, one of the kids said, tell us about good, kind Wenceslas. And another one said, sing us the song. Okay, Mama Mouse said. Once upon a time and always, good, kind Wenceslas has looked out for all the mice. Good kind always made sure every family has enough firewood and food, especially in winter, when there are no tomato patches to nibble, no summer people leaving tasty crumbs on their porches, and no tourists tossing snacks out of their windows. <laughs> the little mice listened as their mama's nighttime voice soothed them, and their breathing was almost settled into a sleeping sound when one of them murmured, and the song, Mama. So Mama started to sing the song and knew they were singing it too in their dreams, and you can sing it too. Good King Wences Mouse looked down on the feast of Jesus. The beast snow lay round about the kind of snow that pleases. Brightly shone the moon that night, though the frost was cruel. Inside all was warmth and light, and tasty treats not cruel. Every December, Every mouse, all the mice, were invited to a great feast at Mouse Hall, Goodkind's winter place under the snow. <coughs> they were treated to lights and song and warmth and food and every kind of good and mostly natural dairy treat you can imagine. <laughs> there was 
dancing. And there was kissing, because there was mousletoe hung all around. It was wonderful. But one December night, something was not quite right. Good King noticed that one little mouse was not there and ventured out to bring her food and wine and pine logs thither. In their sleepy dreams, the three little mice saw themselves go forth away from the lights and gaiety to find the missing mouse. They carried delicious treats for the trip and enough to share if they found her. It was a great and long subnivian adventure. Is that a new word? <laughs> it means under the snow, sub is under like submarine, which is under the wa water, and nivian, which means snow from a Latin word, nivius. <laughs> this is the winter home of country mice between the earth and the sky, blanketed under the snow, safe from wind and foxes and owls and cats. Subnivian. While they were creeping softly through the tunnel, the three little mice heard screechings above. They remembered <coughs> Mama had said to be quiet as mice if they ever heard that kind of sound while they were in a tunnel. She had also told them about the hoot of owls, so they were very quiet little mice who bravely kept going through the snowy burrow. When they came to the home of the little mouse, guess what they found? The little mouse was fine and happy and well, but she'd had an unavoidable delay. She had just become the mother of a whole new batch of little pink babies. Our three little mice admired the new mama and gave her wonderful treats from the party of good kind Wences Mouse and even left some baby cheeses. <laughs> when they turned back from the glowing burrow they had found, it was like a dream, the way dreams change everything. Everything was different, and they were in some other world. But they could hear a familiar sound, their mama's sweet voice singing softly and sleepily, and you can too. Silent Pictures and stories